in the front entrance of this leasing office is barely standing after a man drove his car into the building trying to hit his ex-girlfriend. Bellevue police tell us he is a known and wanted suspect. Just as officers arrived, he backed out of that building and took off speeding. This 24-year-old man is trying to get the last word in as police take him to a hospital. He was tackled to the ground after leading officers from several agencies on a high-speed chase. It ended at 23rd and Rainier in Seattle. You don't see car chases or anything like this. this is wild. I've never seen this many cops. It's like, it, like the whole department came out. And I really came down here to make sure no one got hurt because he was going fast. You know, and I got kids too, and that was very unsafe. Police say the violent day started at his ex girlfriend's apartment in Bellevue. She called 911 as the suspect kicked down her bathroom door and tried to kidnap her. She escaped running towards the leasing office as a maintenance manager called police. And while he was standing guard outside, our suspect got into his car and deliberately, intentionally drove it into the building where she had sought uh, sanctuary in. Bellevue police arrived moments after the crash. And you can see those orange marks were his tire marks as he backed out of the building and left the apartment complex. The man led a high-speed chase from Bellevue heading south on the 405 towards Renton. Then he sped through the south side of Seattle heading north on Rainier. Police say he had a flat tire, ditched his car, and tried to carjack someone at a stopped light. After that car, and after the old man car, and the old man fight him off. I think like, well, he's defending his car because it's his property. He worked hard for it, so he have to defend his property. If it was me, I'd do the same. Police say the string of violence shows just how dangerous a domestic violence offender can be. To anyone that might be experiencing domestic violence or to someone that knows of a family member or a friend that might be experiencing domestic violence, please report it to police department. We're here to help, but we can only help if we know about it. The ex-girlfriend is recovering from minor injuries after being attacked inside her home. Police say the suspect caused two car crashes during that high-speed chase. They tell me no one was reported injured in those crashes. This suspect could face several charges, including attempted murder. Reporting live in Bellevue, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.